Um, bro, if I'm gonna have to burn some fucking bees, oh sh! Hey guys, it's Brian. Welcome back to my channel. This is a, this is gonna be a graded assignment. Why did I do that? Anyway, so today we are making a FM radio transmitter from Vorg time, Vulgar time. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm supposed to build it. Who said I need to know the name? Anyway, so today I'm going to be showing you how to build it, or show you the process of how to build it, or what it look like, what it what it do. You know, like relax. So um, yeah, let's get into it. Here's my current setup. Um, I have my sorry station on my right and my panel on my left and I'm just gonna be doing something outside because why do I want to do something that has dangerous life-threatening fuel that's a big For reference, make sure that when you're soldering make sure that your board that you're soldering on is facing backwards so not frontwards because this is where all the stuff is supposed to face but actually on the back so that you know you just don't screw up like that I'm just making letting y'all know please I don't want to be liable for problem. So about an hour later, we have step one finished on the board. And I'm not even gonna lie. C4 and C C3 and 4, those are the capacitors. Those are supposed to be done in step four. I just finished step one, which was everything but those two. So don't be like me. Reread the instructions before you do things. I mean I did read the instructions, but just letting you know like this is supposed to be done in step four so technically we have step one and four done but we're not there yet so ignore that but everything else here is supposed to be in step one okay good and here is what it looks like on the paper all right so moving on 10 minutes after that um you know you hook in the power switch and then you add in the microphone or audio socket on the right and here it is on the paper for the instructions and then as i said before uh, step four is hooking up the capacitors to make sure you know it's on the right uh, positive and negative sides because you screw that up you basically screw up the entire thing and yeah so so this is steps one through four completed this is what it looks like yeah. now but bam five minutes later we get the led light in so with this as well make sure the orientation to this make sure that the dots correspond to facing bottom if you have flipped over, that's wrong. It's just wrong, and you're wrong. You did it wrong. So <laughs> make sure this is correct. So psych, you thought this was all soldering? Think again. You have to screw in this antenna for part six. So part six, you have to install the antenna. And um, here's the picture. Here's the illustration. And, oh, and it basically looks like this. So pretty simple, straightforward. There is a nut on the back that you have to apply to make it tight. I am going to break something in two seconds. Please don't fall, please don't fall, please don't fall, please don't fall, please don't fall. Ooh. So I need to make sure. Also look at look at this. Look at this amazing job. Look how clean this is. You you want to have soldering to be this good because if it's this high quality clean, you can't go wrong. So yeah the, so this is what it looks like on the back. So, yes, this is part six. We are almost done, my friends. This is what it looks like. One through six. On to step number seven, which is you have to screw on these two metal columns from the front of the board to the back, and then screw on the battery pack into them. So you can, you know, get power, obviously. And then you solder on the negative and positive sides. You can, obviously, you can cut these, the wires, to make them shorter. And you know, just make it cleaner, but this is just first time, so we just wanna make it, you know, just see how it looks like. So this is what it looks like, and I'm going to, you know, plug in the battery, see how everything works, you know, do the thing with the thing. This is what the end what will look like with the batteries on the back, and then you switch on the power button, and then the LED light should come on. All right, and this is basically, they give you a mic, and um, I'll of course, like, plug in the stuff, like, if you don't have a radio, and a microphone. And, um, uh, don't worry, it's not blinking on my side, so, like, don't act like it's, it's wrong, like, because I'm not wrong, I can't be wrong, that's impossible. So, um, yeah, no, this is, this is it, this is basically it, everything is, you know, the mess I've made, look how, um, immaculates into this, so, hopefully this was a helpful video. I want to show how this works, 
but like I'm kind of confused. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm kind of confused on how this works, and I might need to have to like I have to use like one of my radios inside. I will hopefully like after this. There's a there's a view of me using it, and, like figuring it out afterwards. So yeah. Okay, uh, thank you, Gaffin. You should be able to hear me for this. It sounds like actual like doogie teeth, but it's okay. It's okay. So I had it on the 104.7 frequency on this radio. It's very old, so it might be crappy. So, hello? I, I don't know if you can hear me audibly, but like it's, it, it works. It does work. It's very bad. I think it's because the uh, radio is very old, but like it does work. It does work. Please ignore the NBA finals in the background, but it does work. There's the radio I bought. Oh, stop. I, stop. I bought the radio, the kit, same brand and everything. It's not working and I tried, but it's fine. I got another radio that I found in my house. It works. It essentially works. I'm trying to make it look better and I'm hopefully able to present it better in class, but it does work. It does work. You can probably hear me like tapping my thumb on the mic. You can hear it. It's very crappy, but it works.